April 5th, 1986. Alexander Stillman with Mr. Diaz at at his home, 167 Farragut Avenue. Mr. Diaz, what? Okay. How long did you work there? Well, I guess it's been about 33 years. I started in 1941, and uh, I guess it was till 1976 when they closed up the research laboratories, and uh, they just disbanded this research laboratories, and that was the end of my career in Anaconda. What, what departments did you work in? Well, I started off in the cotton shop, and I worked there for a very short time, and uh, then I went up to the quality control labs. I worked there for a couple of years, and uh, then I went into the Navy uh, sampling department and worked there for quite a while went back into the mill in the quality control until the war. When I came back from the war, I worked in the research laboratory for the rest of the time that I was there. I have some pictures here, and we will discuss them. They are numbered according to the numbers in, in the book. Okay, here is number one. Mr. Diaz. All right, this looks like a picture of the North Mill one of the buildings in the North Mill, and it's typical of almost all the buildings throughout the Anaconda Mill. And this uh, building uh, was empty for a long time, and uh, in the latter uh, part, latter years of 41, 42, 43, the building was refurbished, and they made telephone cable and uh, different types of plastic cable. And now it is just a shambles. It's a shame to look at some of these buildings with the windows broken and and the all the floors destroyed. It's, it's a shame. Now to number two. Yeah, this is uh, another use that's making out of the building now temporarily. Uh, some company has come uh, come in here and they get marble slabs from some foreign country and they put metal. Uh, hinges, not hinges, but uh, frames around them, and they're using to build some buildings in New York as facings. All right? Okay. Mr. Diaz, picture number three. Uh, this is uh, typical of what the buildings look like today. It's They're practically all destroyed, and this is the garbage you see that's on the floor. They're littered, and uh, this looks like the building in the north of the North Mill, an entranceway to the North Mill. Thank you, Mr. Diaz. Number, picture number four. Uh, this was the entrance where the trucks went into the North Mill, and the uh, where the tires were. That was a shipping office here on on this side, and there were cable machines throughout this building, and this is where they made more of the plastic cable. All right. Um, picture number five. Ah, uh, number five is a railroad track. Two sets of railroad tracks. This looks like it was in the uh, further into the mill. One went to the uh, main part, and the other one went further down along the side over to the rod mill. Okay. And number six. Ah, uh, this is part of the office building, the main office building, further down in the mill, and it, part of it had been burned out, and the rest of it was taken down. <clears throat> number seven. Well, this is in the main part of the mill, which we uh, call the South Mill. It's a barge right in the middle of it, and the building behind it is the uh, wire mill, the uh, main building where they drew all the wire from rods that came over from the rod mill. This uh, slip was also used. They had two two tugs coming in. Uh, one was the Anaconda, I don't recall the name of the other one, and uh, they used to bring barges of copper in it and uh, tie up here. And in fact, uh, there was a barge here that turned over one time and spilled all the copper. And they had to get dredges out, and they spent uh, the barge actually turned upside down. They were, uh, they forgot to loosen the uh, lines on it, and when the tide went down, 
the uh, one side of the barge was tied so fast to the dock that the other side went down and just tipped the barge over and all the uh, bars slid into the water and then it broke the lines and it put the whole barge upside down. And they had quite a time fishing all the bars of copper out of there. It took them quite a long time to do it. Okay. Uh, number eight looks like it's the same thing. Yes, it is. That's another picture of the same thing. It looks like a duplicate almost. Maybe it's just a little different angle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mr. Diaz, number nine. All right, number nine is a little uh, further away from where the other pictures were. This is the, you'll see the Hudson behind it, and this is the corner. This would be the southwest corner of the cable mill. And the four windows here behind this was where the uh, rods were drawn into, into uh, wire. And the right directly along the edge of the building here, closest to the windows there, they had a dye room in there where they used to polish all the dyes that fit into the wire drawing machines. Okay. And number 10. Uh, this is the north mill. This is the extreme part of the north mill. That would be the northeast corner. This road comes down uh, going from south to north. And they have a tennis club behind it. It goes all the way up to Robeson's and the Tower of Jock Club. And this is the part most in this area here. There was a shipping door right in this furthest corner that is just out of the picture. And the doorway here is where they used to load the freight cars for the uh, cable they made at this particular section of the mill. Okay. Number 11. Number 11. This is a hard one to recognize. It looks like part of the North Mill shipping door. And the doorway where we saw number four or five, where all the where you could see uh, all the garbage and the debris that was just sitting in the doorway. Okay, and number twelve. Oh, this is the furthest most part of the the North Mill. That's as far as you go. And the tennis court is over here. To, if you look at the picture to the right, would be where the tennis courts are. And uh, to the left is the very extreme portion of the North Mill, and the shipping door is in the lower left-hand corner of this picture. Okay. Mr. Dias, number 13. That's another picture of it, and you see part of the tennis court there, and you can see the shipping door a little better. And of course, you can see the, the rooms of the windows and the rest of it. Okay. And number 14. Now, number 14, we go back uh, to the dock area on the South Mill, I believe that this one is, and where they're fixing up the boats, and they, I think, they built a truth sojourner there. Okay. Um, number 15. Well, number 15 here, we see again the North Mill, and this is part of the old marina, which is a, no more. It's part of the uh, tennis club now. It's a shame that this marina went out. It would be a very handy place. That's, That's it. all the pictures. Okay. Thank you. And this concludes my interview with Mr. Gerard Diaz about the plant and facilities that once, inter uh, that once employed so many people but is now wreckage. Thank you.